And we're back with another episode of the Duck Call Room. Look, we appreciate all y'all that called us this Tuesday for our first Tuesday episode. If you missed it, be sure and check out our Tuesday episodes. They can only be found on YouTube.com slash Duck Call Room. That is YouTube.com slash Duck Call Room. While you're there, like, subscribe, comment. Let us know what we can do different, better. Anything we're missing that you desire, let us know. We are here to serve. So That was a fun one. What, the Tuesday one? Yeah. yeah. It was. Huh. You still on a sugar high, ain't you? You huh. dope popped a Reese cup. <laughs> Guarante- oh, Johnny D still smuggling. Right, he's still right. smuggling. He still got he's them, boys. He's still smuggling. Ah, I, I, know, I know where we keep them. That's the one thing, like, I will say about this podcast so far is Duck Dynasty, people sent us a lot of stuff, oh, like yeah. stuff, but they didn't never send us... Reese eggs no. and, and made Mr. juice and Mrs. T and, yeah. and Christmas tree cakes. Well, hey, this the, one, this one's a much better model as well, far no, as no. gifts are concerned. The fans are smarter than you think. They are, yeah, because yeah. yeah. they know oh, once you eat all this sugar, yeah. you'll be on a sugar high. They ain't no telling what we're gonna discuss. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, we got. Uh, I forgot to bring them over here. They sent us some. Uh, I can't even think of their name. I don't even know why I brought them up. Got but them? it's uh, deer scent. Deer scent. Deer yeah, scent. cover scent. Yep, okay. Like deer pee? Yeah. Pee? Maybe. Hey, you forgot know. something else, They're too. It's supposed to smell like other deer. Yeah, you forgot oh, something else, so too. You know there, Godwin. You can have my, you can have my stash. You need to bring your trumpet, son. My trumpet? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you do have to bring it. Hey, you. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the real one. The real <laughs> one. Smack him, Martin. Uh-uh, I like it. He's playing a pretty good ditty. <laughs> Hey, hey, bring your real one. I think you could actually play it pretty good. <laughs> we don't even have to. We don't have to pay there a license. You, there you go. That's a Godwin original. For your imagination. Oh, I need a tambourine. Look, hey, yeah. Johnny D on the maracas over there. Yeah. yeah. Hey, look. Hush a minute. I got something to say. <laughs> look, Michael Avery's. Okay, his dad used to. The first time I met him. They was playing music, you know, they kicked the guitar up and all that, and his dad was over like this, and look, he was making all the sounds of a harmonica. Without and then, Yeah, and I kept looking. I was trying to see what kind of harmonica he had. Uh-huh. Now, all he had is like this. He just had a comb in his hand. He right. didn't have a, a comb. comb. <laughs> no, he didn't even have a comb. No. Uh, hey, harmonica. he can make every sound that harmonica can make with just his mouth. A harmonica? Well, I can't hey, do whatever it. you pronounce, however yeah, you he, pronounce it. Sai ain't never, oh. si hey, never been big on them all. Don't pop you. I'm not a good joke, buddy. Yeah. All right. Wow. All right. All right. Go hey. home with bruises. <laughs> well, hey. And now for the imagination. Oh, Lord have mercy. This is fantastic. And now for something totally different. I thought this would be more difficult having to do two a week, but apparently it's not. We're this just going to keep on rolling. We're just going to keep, keep on, on rolling. rolling. Hey. Hey, 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 I heard uh, a rumor. About what? About a child. Uh oh. Oh, we're diving right into this. Okay. We're going. Oh, okay. Not, no, don't look at me. I'm not the child. Hey. All yeah. right, I, I got a story. Yeah, to but tell. it has to do with you. Yeah, oh. I got a story to tell. Okay, we'll tell it. Would you like to hear the story? Yes, sir. I sure All right. Would. So yesterday I get to work. Martin's here. I look. I don't even remember what I was doing. I was buying something online for Willie, I'm sure. I grabbed my wallet. And, and so I'm currently in the process of purchasing a lawnmower from a friend who had a lawnmower business he's moving on from that so i got a smoking deal on a lawnmower and you got some cash in your pocket i got some, well i had some cash in my pocket <laughs> okay you had so some i cash. look at my wallet and twelve hundred and fifty dollars is just gone everything else correct so so you know what that leads to everybody around here has lost money at uh, some point right? everybody on earth lost money so and- then he comes in my office and we backtrack his past twenty four to thirty six no. hours. Like where could trying this to be? find out where I yeah where where, where when, could it potentially be? Oh, he was be? showing it to somebody yeah. and forgot where yeah. he put. No, it. no, Johnny D ain't curly. Like he ain't gonna pull out no wad of cash and start flashing it. No, no this I, I was a, just I hey, had it to buy a lawn. I know, yeah. but my first place would have went okay. Is I'd been him. I'd have been to the wife and say, Oh, I accused her first. 
Okay. Martin and Keith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said, okay, where's the cash there, baby? I said, oh, Allison Doe popped you on that. <laughs> yeah. She saw yeah. that in there that's and said, that's way too he much to have. He don't need that. He don't need that yeah, much. he don't need that much. I said, she ain't spending it. It's at your house. But she took it out of your wallet because <laughs> right. she said. Well, you can't spend it. You don't need that much in your wallet. Yeah. Well, that's what true. what happened? Where did it? So, uh, well, so at up. this point, I'm panicked. But my, uh, so I have three kids, a seven, he just turned seven like last week, a uh, little boy that's about to turn five and a two-year-old girl. And my oldest son, he's been really into money since his birthday. Like he got like 20 bucks here, 15 oh. here. So he's really, oh, so he's now. he's had a good birthday. Yeah. So yeah. he's, okay. he's got like 60 bucks to go to Target, but he's been collecting change every time he's in the car from the cup holders and going and putting his, he's got a money jar. It counts it. He's got like nine dollars and 20 cents in there and just spare change so i'm like maybe did he get my wallet and take it out because i just have no idea like and then i'm like did somebody get in my truck and just steal my cash because at this point i'm like now nah, i'm not gonna have a lawnmower so i'm sad <laughs> and so my but my wife is having a bible study when i realize this at our house and our our producer cole his wife's there and he's sitting over there. And so I'm like, I can't just go barging in my house right now looking for money and be like, oh, sorry, we're losing $1,000 all the time. Let me find this thing. I'm like, I'm, I'm panicked. So I'm just having to sit here and think. And then I'm like, oh, wait, my kids are at home because it's spring break. So I FaceTime their iPad. And I'm like, please answer. And they don't answer. Try again. And he answers. I'm like, hey, buddy. And Martin hears this. I'm like, hey. Listen, real quick. He's like, Dad, I was watching YouTube. Oh, yeah. I said, I don't care. I said, listen. <laughs> He's on that YouTube bag, I said, listen, right, right now. <laughs> I said, did you get in Daddy's wallet? He goes, uh, maybe Lottie did. I'll see you later, Dad. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. so at that point, I'm like, all right, I think I, think I know what happened. Uh, let me give you the direct quote. He looked up and he said, that little sucker. <laughs> yeah. He said, that, that, and I looked at him I said, oh, yeah, he did it. I oh. said, I said, I don't know what he did, but he knows no, he, where it's at. Because yeah, he, yeah. he threw little yeah. two-year-old sister oh, yeah. under the bus yeah. so yeah. fast. Yeah. It yeah. make your head yeah. spin. So, so his name's Carter, and he said, yeah, Lottie probably did something with it. So then, and my middle son's name's Ben, so I'm, I'm driving home, and I call my wife. I'm like, hey, I'm missing all of this money. And she goes, and she, now she's mad at me for being irresponsible. I'm like, uh, this is not my <laughs> fault. I said, will you look for it while I'm on my way home? I'm flying. And she's like, no, you, I mean, huh. She goes, well, Lottie probably put in the show. Our daughter's been really into throwing trash away lately. Like She'll finish them. She's like, maybe it's in the trash can. It's trash day. Oh. I said, go out there. She goes, that's your problem. I said, if I lose the money, it's our problem. Yeah. So she goes out to the trash can, gets the trash from that day, brings it back. So then I get home. I charge in the house, and both boys are sitting there. And I, I say, Ben, Carter, look at me. I said, look at me. Did anybody touch? And only Ben's looked at you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ben's conscience is clean. I've been there before. Look at me. Uh-uh. You know, that's a trap. <laughs> so I think I got Carter pinned up, and I said, did anybody touch Daddy's wallet? Ben said, no. Carter goes, uh, I think Lottie did. So I, Jen, I'm just honed in. I'm like, all right, you little lying sucker. I said, uh, you ain't going to get past this one. I said, oh, yeah? Where did Lottie put it? Do you know? He goes, uh, uh, maybe under, uh, maybe under my money jar. And I'm like, <laughs> so I said, she put you take it under your money yeah. jar. So I said, and by the way, she's two. She can't reach that. So then I take him upstairs. I'm like, you show me where it is. And I go look and I got a money jar. There's, there's $9 in it, but there's $1,250 underneath it i have a video of the discovery of said money oh yeah i I sent it to martin (laughs) so then i'm laughing but then i'm like well my son's stealing in line so this has got like he he honestly probably thought it was six dollars he didn't know how much money he. i want to get goblin's reaction watch this guy this is good oh this is good stuff Uh uh-oh there it all was (laughs) there was my lawnmower just chilling under a few well here's what you need to do stand up and bend over and i'm gonna give you oh no about two minutes what? Oh, no, you don't have to look. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't steal oh. the money. Whoa, Whoa. Si, put your belt the, on. Si, si, put your belt on. <laughs> what are you doing? So Why are you going I'm, I'm giving him, him practicing 101. Oh, no. It, oh, you going to show him what to do? Yeah, I was going to give him what he should have gave Carter. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, go get me a about? switch. I hated that. So oh, Carter oh, got his. Go get me a switch. So, you go get me a switch. Go pick a switch. <laughs> but then when I find no, the money. Switch, I got a belt on. Oh, you'll love this. When I find the money, I said, how did that money get there? 
And he said, I guess Lottie did it. <laughs> and I, I was like, this kid's going to die on this hill. I ain't going to go with it. I'm going to have to it, just, it's story. It. I'm going to have to. Te- and then I said, L- last chance, buddy. I said, look at me in the eyes and tell me. And I said, you better not lie. I said, don't do Who? it, Carter. Don't look in them eyes. Don't do <laughs> and it. He's looking me don't straight in the eyes. And he starts, he starts a little shaking and sweating. And I hate, you know how it is as a parent. You're just like, oh, I hate doing this, but I have to. And he's looking at me and he's, I said, don't lie to me. Who put the money there? And he just points at himself. And I was like, oh, good yeah, grief. Yeah. He, had that, he had that lip quiver. So then we sat he? down. He got in trouble. Then he lied to me again. Last, I told you that story too, huh? Mm-hmm. So then oh, we're yeah. pulling up to church. It was a whole fiasco last night with this boy. We're pulling up to church, and he unbuckles his seatbelt in the road, like the major road before we pull in. I said, did you unbuckle your seatbelt? He goes, no. So then well, I pull in the church. Lottie did it. Uh, no. No, no, this one, this on, one gets on. better. It gets better. <laughs> so I pull in the church and just slam on the brakes. Brake well, checked him. Hey, you ain't wearing your seatbelt. You're coming to the front seat with me. <laughs> so he says, no, nah, it's still buckled. Well, he came flying out. So I said, who unbuckled your seatbelt? You, why would you unbuckle it? He goes, I didn't do it. I said, who did it? He said, uh, 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 a ghost. A ghost. <laughs> a, ghost I I said, a ghost with hands. I and said, a, and hey, a thumb, man. I said, okay, so now you're just lying all the time. He goes, no, 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 it wasn't a ghost. It was, it was Ben's. And then Ben's like, uh-uh, I didn't do it. I said, <laughs> So I said, I was just, I'm in the middle of like the street slash parking lot. I get out of the car and grab him. I'm like, we're going to stop. And I, the problem was, I was like, I'm about to just whoop this kid in the oblivion and then send him off to Bible class. Yeah. So I just got him and gave him a real good talking. Then he went to Bible class, learned about Jonah running from the Lord. So hopefully that helped. Uh, helped. And then we had a real good talk last night. So I think we might have broken the line, but hey, it was a, it was a day of parenting yesterday. Uh, and hey, good news. I'm going to get a lawnmower this weekend because I, okay. I found my money. Oh, he got the money, is. boys. He's going to get a lawnmower. All right. Well, we may dive a little further into that when we come back. Let's take our first break. <laughs> first break. <laughs> Ready? Break. I got a crash course in the home title theft, and you better pray this never happens to you because it can ruin you financially. Here's how the crime happens. The legal titles to our homes are now kept online where they can be hacked. A cyber thief finds your home's title forges your signature on a quick claim deed stating you sold your home to him then he takes out loans against your home until all the equity is gone you'll never have any idea until collection notices and calls start pouring in you're not protected by any insurance your bank or common identity theft programs home title lock protects you and in the unlikely event you become a victim of title theft while a member home title lock will spend up to a quarter million dollars in legal fees to help restore your home's title all you have to do is go to HomeTitleLock.com, register your address, see if you've already been a victim, then use code RADIO for 30 free days of protection. That's code RADIO at HomeTitleLock.com. Don't let people steal from you what you've worked your whole life for. HomeTitleLock.com, code RADIO, 30 free days of protection. That just burns my biscuits. What do you got? So, oh, wow. Oh, 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 and we're man. back. Good yeah. grief. Whoa, we were, we were almost. Hey, hold him down. Hold him down. He's fixing to leave. We he ain't got no tea. Back. He's gone. We were almost back Pitiful. from break. Oh, we're back. Good grief. Oh, right. So I said roll with it. Oh, he's got, a, he's got a swallow. So I'm going to cut you off. You've been drinking too much. Yeah, that's it. Tea. Bartender, the cut him got, off. Yeah, the tea's got too tough, boys. So look, here's my deal. So we we've heard the story of Young Carter. Young Carter, the boy was about to buy Carter. more Legos than any kid in hey, town. Here's where I'll say that you you're on the right track. He's not a smart thief. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. Because a smart thief would have clipped you for a hundred at a time, and you'd have never known it. You'd have gotten your wallet. It'd have been eleven fifty. You'd have said, "Dang, I'm gonna spend a hundred so Oh, and then you'd have justified. Mm-hmm. You'd been like, "Oh yeah, I did go to did I buy them yeah. wherever? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, oh, I bought a tank of gas. Yeah. And, you know, whatever. Yeah. Like you'd have been like, I just go get another hundred. Ain't no big deal. Like 
But twelve fifty. But when twelve fifty go missing, whew. there's a big red flag. Oh, yeah. There's a big red flag and a mild sweat that breaks out oh, over twelve fifty. That's a. That, and then you were messing with me the whole time. Oh, of course I. Oh, he walked course. past my office. He's like, stir, I, was well, playing, I was playing devil's advocate. Martin I said, was like, didn't you go to that surge place yesterday? Where somebody you, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Somebody no, no, probably no. slipped you. <laughs> Never isn't, again. Isn't parenting fun? I it is a good time. But here's. I don't like the discipline. That's the point I want to get to with parenting. Here's here's what I know to be true. I'm not a parent, so just hear me out on this. Let's Here's hear what I know to be true. Carter lying, and I hate to call this stealing, because he had been getting changed. Like It's not, oh, to he, him, it's just, that he has no idea that that's $1,250. I'm just trying to That's think. money that he wants to put in his jar, yep. which is fine. Yep. Like, that's totally 1250 cool. $1,250 is a yep. good haul, yeah. though. And, but and, he went in daddy's. Well, but dad has set a precedent of just giving him the change out of the the out cup, of their holder. cup holders like but oh, not well, that's, out of his bill vote. well that's dad's money it doesn't matter he lets me have it yeah. that's that's not a i'm not we'll get to that point i'm not calling you a bad parent or anything oh, no, like that this the is, whole thing is this I'm, is a learning experience oh, yeah. for both of you oh yeah. oh yeah but i know that john david and allison are both extremely honest humans like brutally honest john david's so honest a lot of people don't like him <laughs> because of it let's just be honest about that like and the same can be said for me, same can be said oh, for you, oh yeah. same can be said for God. But when you start hitting people with honesty, they, they tend to say, boy, that guy's kind of a a-hole or something, you know? Uh-oh. Or butthole, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but I'm just saying, that's the, a lot of times that's the rap you get when you're honest with people. So this kid is raised by two people that I know to be honest, and yet he is finding a way of deception. So my question, is that deception born into us as humans or yeah. is it a learned behavior it's a learned behavior, learned behavior. so yeah. a kid that's raised by two honest people where does he learn the deception youtube <laughs> no no hey this is this when he was telling the story i was going back to my childhood with my mother this is uh it's learned and he probably got it from his peers Ew. but mama okay uh -oh. the reason reason they would sent me back to my childhood yeah, is he this. brought up the lying Okay, my mother, if you lied to her, you think get hurt. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and look, and like you said, being honest, they raised me from infancy, okay, to be honest. I went in the military, and hey, honesty got me in more trouble. <laughs> if I'd have just told a little white lie, but uh-uh. No, I done been through this. And look, and everybody says God has not got a sense of humor. Oh, I beg to differ with you, okay, because my mama, in our yard, it was a bush, and guess what it grew? Switches. switches. The best switches that ever were grown. Uh, don't get them little bitty flesh. Oh, no, and look, mama added uh, mm. injury, okay, insult to injury and everything else and put everything else on top of it <laughs> because, hey, young man, since you did that, go out there and pick me a switch. Oh. Boy, that's look, the worst, ain't it? Oh, no. Look, and I got to the age where, you know, I know it all. So I go out there and I grab it before I break it off, and I do it like this. I said, okay. Give look. a little test run. No, no, yeah. <laughs> I said, okay, that'll break after the third, fourth, maybe fifth lick. I said, and I'll be good to go. <laughs> Take it. She about five licks, broke it. She said, young man. Go back and give me another one. <laughs> Run and it she back. Said, and she said, and guess what? We may be here all day because if it breaks, we're going to pick that bush down to the ground. <laughs> Look, she whooped me for three months with that switch. Look, it broke, and hey, she cried. She said, oh, my goodness, that was such a good one. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Yeah. Oh man! I've it was there. hallelujah time for me because it broke. No, been there. Yeah. Hey. Mm. yeah Mamma had one of them bushes in her yard. Mamma had one too that it had them them switch limbs that would like wrap around your leg. Like oh, no, 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 wouldn't no. just go across your bottom. No, no, like, no, that don't, thing, don't. That thing like a regulation whip. It it get you this way. And then yeah. it'd sneak through the back door yeah. and get you on the inside yeah. of that thigh. Oh, yeah. You know that oh, little yeah. tender meat right there on the inside of your thigh? Yeah, that, God. Little, that little one won't hurt as bad. Ooh, ooh wrong. <laughs> that, thing, that thing leave a whelp the size of that cup I on know. the bottom See, of your leg. I don't huh? think God, I've ever look. got a switch. What? I only got belts. 
Oh, my dad. Oh, he was lucky. I, I guess a belt, so. A belt's wide. Yeah. See, but I was <laughs> Them dumb. wraparounds, he's talking about, they ain't wide. Yeah. I was dumb yeah. as a kid, too, because my dad I my dad would say, go get a belt, meet me in your room. So I'd have to go <laughs> to my dad's closet. Get a belt. And get a belt. Yeah. And I always picked out the one with the smallest buckle. Mm-mm. I don't know why, because I was like, he ain't hit me with the buckle, but I just wasn't that smart of a kid. And so then I'd end up with, like, the small belt. That was dumb. Yeah. Like I picked the yeah. big, thick one. Less, less from wind resistance, yeah. buddy. It's but coming boy, faster. You need, you need I got plenty of belts in my day. You need that big one to spread that surface you know, area out. You know it's what, physics. You right. know what I use? Wooden spoons from the kitchen. Oh, no. yeah. I go go get a wooden you. spoon. What? Why do parents make them go get it? I just do it because my dad. Because it's a walk it's of a, shame. I guess. Son. Walk of shame. I mean, Time to the, think about it. The loneliest yeah. place in my childhood was the march from Memo's back door <laughs> to that switch tree. <laughs> to the bush. Oh yeah. To the bush. That was the loneliest <laughs> walk the in America. The one back had to be sad. You didn't come right. Oh, uh, right. the one back you knew what was coming. <laughs> yeah. But the one there, you felt like, well, if I zig five yards this way, I zig back five yeah. yards that way. You Maybe can take your forget. time, but when you, once you made that commitment of breaking the switch, you know, I got to go get this over. Yeah. Like, oh, this yeah, is yeah. about to be yeah. brutal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you know what's and weird, too? Sure enough, it was brutal. I mean, it wasn't brutal. Look, <laughs> i say this right now. There's a lot of people that probably can't be honest with themselves. I deserved every whooping I got. Every last one of them. And there's a few that I deserved that I didn't get. <laughs> But every one that I got, I was not unfairly oh whooped. No, I oh say no. I got one. <laughs> I ain't doing it just to do it. No, <laughs> I got one questionable one, but no. I, I deserve plenty more. Oh than no, I got. no, no, no! Mm-hmm. Like him, like him. Okay, I got one. Me and my sister. Okay, Daddy's working graveyard, which is twelve o'clock midnight till seven in the morning. He comes home, gets in bed. Well, for three hours, me and my sister are fighting. <laughs> Well, he can't sleep. Dad can't sleep. Okay, so he. Bum, bum, Mama bum. said he's been walking around in his underwear looking for a belt for three hours, and hey, we come by him like two cats. You know, well, he grabs the nearest thing handy. Okay, a twelve foot extension cord. <laughs> okay, and look, I went back to the old west days when they took a bull whip to you. <laughs> Okay, because, hey, I'm bleeding, okay, and so is my sister and my mama. Oh, boy. You know, oh, yeah. That you know. plug got you, didn't it? Oh, no, no, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and like Martin said, tell me, I said, uh, and all Dad would say when we'd, we'd get to talking at reunions, tell me, I, that was 14. That's when I got it. That's the last one I got. He said, did you deserve it? I said, hey, I deserve to be whipped for disobeying you and keeping you up. But I didn't deserve child abuse. <laughs> you know. And then you got it done. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, he, he, all he would do is start laughing, okay? Uh, when, when he laughed, you didn't laugh out loud. Yeah. He just shook all over. Because if you, well, if you asked him, he didn't mean to do that to well, you, no, but no. that was the first oh, thing well, I hit hated. my hand. Well, That's no, no, because he was I too mad. I hate to do this to you. No, no, That's he was too I'm mad. It. I, you look, it? I remember that. My dad would always say, It's going to hurt it's me. The, hey, me. you don't. Hey, he and then he would tell me one day you'll understand, and I was like, "Bull crap!" Uh, yeah. <laughs> yesterday you understood, didn't you? And <laughs> yes, it, yesterday I'm it all you, came to life. <laughs> oh well, the, 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 before you, <laughs> that kid's been whooped plenty. Oh, of life. I know, but but, I'm just saying. but it is just the when you realize like, oh, crud, like go get a spoon or a belt or a switch, and you're just like, I don't want to do this. And then, but but Carter, he a lot like me. Like once you do it, he'll I'll snuggle up to you and love on yeah. you. And but it's. It is tough, man. You don't well, like no. doing it, but you know you got to. Well, no, here's the thing. you got to discipline your children. Yep. Otherwise, spare the rod, it, spoil Otherwise, the that's yeah. for real. And otherwise, twelve fifty yep, from that's you for real. becomes twelve fifty. You better do others. this, okay, before they get in the teenage years, early and often. But, but here's <laughs> Yo, another thing. Hey, look, folks. I'm telling you, if they get twelve, thirteen, and you hadn't been disciplined up to then. Even an extension cord ain't gonna work, is it? No. Look at Hey, you're not. Nothing you can do will do anything. Will do any good. Okay. Oh, it's man. because yeah. you love them, though. Well, no, no, because that's why you discipline. Okay. Oh, for yeah. sure. And they, yeah. uh, I mean, some kids too. I mean, I've talked to several, you know, older people. That's, uh, you know, my dad. They didn't care what I did, hmm. and and made them go down the wrong road just. Well, no, no, because here's, here's, I mean, yeah, here's the thing. If you don't have boundaries, okay, it, this is for kids or adults. Yep. 
Okay, you've got to have boundaries. That and respect. Yeah, you got to have them. Okay, otherwise, you know, if you don't, you're just going to do whatever you feel like doing. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Well, hey, other there are consequences for every action there is. That is. Yeah. Yeah. For every so, action, yeah. there's an equal and opposite reaction. Oh, reaction. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so hey, if you don't if you don't discipline your children, I'm just saying you don't love them. Amen. I, right. I can go with that. Well, I, here's what yeah. you can rest assured tonight. My parents really loved me, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and so did my grandparents. <laughs> yeah. No, no, look, they hey. really loved me. No, no, me. look, you know, this is the the sixties, okay. Not only did my both of my parents really love me, <laughs> but hey, in our neighborhood, my neighbors really loved me. <laughs> Amen. Because hey, if you oh, acted yeah. up in the neighborhood and they saw you, you fix to get your butt whooped not oh, once. Yeah. Oh. The neighbor's gonna whip you, and then he's gonna call dad, and then when you get home, get dad's gonna put it on yeah. you. I never forget that it will go to break. Mom, we went to Astro World. Do you remember that Astro World down there in Six Houston? Flags yeah. 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 I think it was legit. Jolene Martin, probably the only person that went to Astro World and bought an Astro World paddle. Paddle. Not a boat paddle, did a have, paddle. I know. Did it have holes? It had it? one hole on the end of it that would leave a perfect <laughs> white ring on your butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me they how I know. Paddles at Astro World, <laughs> guaranteed God with, a, with guaranteed a leather to leave a ring on your behind with a leather strap around the handle so it didn't slip. Yes, God sir. Bless America, guaranteed. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That happened from Astro World. Astro baby. World. I Welcome hate the I hate life. the Astros. Never liked them oh, at Astro all. Astro World closed. So you yeah. gonna have to go and to, he's to Texas. And now. he's got good reason too, boys. <laughs> all right, let's take a break. We'll be back. That's good stuff. Look, when you run a business like we do, HR issues can absolutely kill you. Wrongful termination suits, minimum wage requirements, labor regulations, and many, many more issues can come up. HR manager salaries aren't cheap, with most of them being an average of about $70,000 per year. Bambi, spelled B-A-M-B-E-E, was created specifically for with small businesses in mind. You can get a dedicated HR manager, craft your own HR policy, and maintain your compliance all for $99 a month. With Bambi, you can change your HR from your biggest liability to your biggest strength. Your dedicated HR manager is available by phone, email, or real-time chat at any time. From onboarding determinations, they customize your policies to fit your business and help you manage your employees day-to-day, all for just $99 a month. It's month-to-month. There are no hidden fees. There's no contracts you can cancel at any time. You didn't start your business because you wanted to spend all your time on HR compliance. Let Bambi help today. Get your free HR audit today. Go to Bambi.com slash duck right now to schedule your free HR audit. That's Bambi.com slash duck spelled B-A-M to the B, B-E-E dot com slash duck. All right. Well, we're back. Look, while we were at break. Si brought up a pretty good point that he he wants to get to, so we got. Si's got his finger up. But, <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're no, back. No, 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 hey, hey, I wanted to tell you a while ago, but look, Al was, I think he was sixteen, okay, and he's got a bunch of buddies, and they go to a camp on the river, Washtenaw River, okay, and uh, somehow mysteriously, you know, a uh, couple of six pack of beer show up. Lottie did it. Yo, know, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, it was yeah. a ghost. Yeah, a ghost. I so, tell you, about yeah, a ghost brought it. You know, but anyway, yeah. you know, these uh, Al and his friends, you know, get a little, uh, little high off a of beer. Okay, so some neighbor either heard him or saw him. Went to Field K's house and said, uh, "Well, your boys or your boy." Is down there, you know, drinking beer, and they all getting drunk and getting rowdy. So Phil gets in his truck, goes down there, and says, uh, <clears throat> you get to the house. And then he turns to all Al's friends and says, uh, <clears throat> he's fixing to get his butt tore out. And he said, if you're going to ever come to his house again, my house, come on down there and get yours too. 
Okay, yes, now sir. this is a bearded guy that looks like a, you know, yeah. like a grizzly bear. Oh, okay. especially when Al was 16. Yeah, I mean, Phil's young. No, no, like, no, no, no. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah Phil so, would be what you would call in his prime. Oh, yeah. At yeah. This point. And I'm scared I'm just of him saying, at this point. But yeah, I'm just I, saying, he's got a big old beard. Nah, you know, that's here's, where, a, just, here's a bearded guy telling you, okay, hey. Come I, to my house. Yeah. I'm fixing to whoop your yeah. tail. Yeah. yeah. Not to interrupt I'm, you on that part, yeah. but me and Al wouldn't have been friends no more. I'd have said, <laughs> no, no, right, no, bro, no, we'll, no. All right, bro, we'll see you. <laughs> no, no. Hey, that's what got me. I told Al this after we got grown, you Because, hey. To the man, and look, there was one kid that he had just come aboard. He was visited from somewhere. <laughs> look, they all show up. Oh, Lord. He was guilty. Okay, look, and line up, and Phil says, bend over that white car there. And look, I'm talking about, hey, he was mad because, hey, he used to drink, and, and that was when he t- returned to the Lord or came to know Jesus. That was one thing you didn't do. Zero tolerance. Zero tolerance on drinking. Yeah. So, hey, he told Al to bend over, and, hey, he got, I mean, this belt was whistling through the air. Yeah, see, I think I would have signed up to go first before he got good and loose. Oh, no, Because no. if you was about number four, all them muscles was no, going to be No, no, oh, yeah, they, yeah, they limbered up. But anyway, he whooped Al's butt, told him, hey, get away from me. I don't want him to see you. Next, you know. Whooped him, yo. Epinette was one of them. Greg Epinette uh, oh, yeah. tore him up. He left, yeah. and I don't remember the other. I'm sure uh, W. E. was there. Right, w. E. was there one was of them. Greg right. Epinette. Yeah. yeah. W. E. was one. Of them. I don't know who yeah. you yeah. are, <laughs> but yeah. tell your daddy I whooped your butt. No, that was the other guy. Okay, the last one to do it, and he's he's warm now. Yeah. He said, "I have no idea who you are, but bam, bam, you tell your daddy that I whoop your tail, yo. Know, and if if you ever do it again, I'll whoop you again." Uh, wow! But I, but I told Al, I said, Al, I'm I'm impressed by one thing. I said, Hey, if I would have been me. You just lost somebody for a friend, sir, because yeah. I ain't coming down there and getting my butt to work. No, I'd have never been seen at the end of Mouth of Cypress <laughs> Road in my yeah. life. Yeah, No, we'd have, we'd have settled that score. I, oh, yeah. I do find it funny now how that you look back on stuff. And why them whippings was taking place, there wasn't a thing in the world funny about them. No. But now when you look back yeah. on them after you've survived them and learned your oh, lesson from them, oh, you no. can't yeah. help but laugh yeah. about even them. Even Al, even Al, he said it wasn't funny at the time. He said, but now it's really hilarious. Really. Oh, it is funny. I, and I said, well, hey, you have got some good friends, my man. Guarantee. Look, I'll okay. tell you a good one that we had growing up. Dad told us, he said, don't y'all, don't y'all play with them fireworks. It's dry, drought, you know. Oh, yeah. Don't you play with them fireworks? Yes, sir. No problem. Well, there goes my brother. What's he got? A cigarette lighter and a firework. <laughs> fireworks. Bonk. Throw it out there in the woods. Hey, Here come the fire department. Yeah, I mean, that's fire where fire we fire. at. Like, oh, yeah. like we tried our hardest. Work, 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 work. Put that fire out. Not fire department. Dad got off work out there at the mill, and I saw him coming. I said, "Oh boy." Mm, I'm just going to stand here. I said, I'm just going to stand here and be real still. And take it. I was hoping he yeah. wouldn't see me, you know. Yep. Well, my brother, who's six years older than me, decided he would bolt. That was not a bad. good look. Yeah, bad look. Because motive. with every step Dad took, he got madder and madder and madder. And when he called him, I said, oh, Lord, that's all of it. I'm about to be the only child here. <laughs> And then, so I'm still standing there. I ain't doing that. I kind of, you know, got a little giggle on my face, a little grin, because, you know, you're watching your brother get his butt whooped. That's kind of uh, fun. It's like, fun. You're like, yeah, yeah, you ain't involved in it yet. And then we made eye contact, <laughs> me and Dad, and he saw that grin. He said, oh, I'm coming for you now. He said, just in case you ever think you want to do something like that. <laughs> I figured out right then and there from the witness yeah. and the experience, I didn't want to do that. Don't Don't run from your daddy or your mama or whoever's after you. Because it just gets worse with uh, every step yeah. they get. And just like Phil, they get limbered up from running. Oh, All yeah. their muscles oh, get yeah. loose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. that blood hey. flow is going. <laughs> the, worst, the worst one I ever got was the last one I ever got from my mom. Ooh, yeah. Oh, Big Jan got you? She got me. Oh, okay. And my mom, about 5'4". That's why it's funny to call her small. Big Jan. She 5'4", 110 pounds soaking wet. Well, call her Big Jan. At this point in life... It didn't hurt. Yeah. And I just started laughing. Oh, bad Like deal. a 
dummy. No. Oh, and you like me in, in basic training. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So she's, it's in the church parking lot. She's just wearing me out. And she did the whole, I told you not to do that. Oh, yeah. You embarrassed me in front of the church. And I'm just, I just start giggling. I'm like, yeah. what? And my sister starts laughing because she can tell it doesn't hurt. And then she said, "Fine, doesn't hurt. We'll just tell Dad." And I was like, "Oh, okay." okay. That's all. Of so then we drove. <laughs> so then, so then Dad's like, "All right, we'll we'll talk when we get home," which is the worst. Mm, and yeah. so then, you know, I made my peace yeah, with build, the Lord. It's build up time. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> oh yeah. So you know, you say your prayers on the way home. You get ready. You're prepared for Judgment Day. It's coming. <laughs> and then you get home. Dad says, "Get a belt from my closet. Meet me in your room." And I'm like, "Here we go again." Oh man. And he, well, oh, he got me good that time. But you mm. didn't get no more. Real good. There you yeah. go. Oh no, I got no, 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 no. That was the last one from my mom. Oh, from I got many mom. more. Oh, oh, and then another that, one. Dad wasn't done yet. <laughs> the set, the other worst one I got, December thirty first, nineteen ninety nine. Y two K. He remembers that. Old? Yeah, I was ten. Yeah. New Year's Eve party at somebody's house. I don't remember who. You got drunk? No. No, I'm kidding. I was, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was a whole family party. Everybody's having fun. Some some certain kids were warned to stay away from the swimming pool. You might fall in, and it's going to be really yep. cold. Yep. Oh, you pushed somebody. No, I oh, fell in. Oh, you we fell in. We were playing no, somebody football. Somebody pushed you. No, yeah. and I jumped up to catch it and just went in the water. That was water that gum cold. Lottie. Uh, she threw that ball to it. Was, I felt like God went. I went in that water. I went. Mm. Yeah, that's what And I, then I got out of that water, and I realized I have to go tell my parents that I'm soaking wet. And that Y2K is about to happen. This is not going to be good. <laughs> like we be- and so we were like 20 minutes from the house. And my dad, and my mom, and my sister stayed at the party, and my dad drove me all the way home, Ooh. just in silence. Yeah, and I was like, "This is yeah, it. Go get me a belt." Yeah, yeah. And then, well, but I was soaking wet, so I, you know, take off all your clothes, then pay out. Then yeah. It was, oh, you was naked. You didn't even get I the might benefit have had of some underwear. That's oh, it was a rough ordeal. Ooh. Well, let's. Let's squeeze in another break here because I want to hear about what Cy alluded to there when he says, sound like me in basic training. We'll get on that when we get back. I'd like to hear some Cy punishments. Uh, Oh, it it was punishment, all right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Whether it's back, knees, neck, or shoulder pain, the underlying cause is likely inflammation. You have to defeat the inflammation or it can cause permanent damage. So si, how do we do that? All right. It's got 35 years of research and development, boys, and look, it's working all for you. Do you know what it is by now? You've got to know what it it's, is by now. We talk about it every week. Cy si takes it. All right. Every day. Stone X. takes it every day. It is uh, Omega X L. It attacks the inflammation that's causing your pain. It is brilliant. Pain relievers and topical rubs just mask that problem. Omega XL actually neutralizes the inflammation that causes painful stiff joints and muscles. So look, hmm. let us help you right now to get you started. If you order Omega XL, you will get a second bottle for free. And all you have to do is visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck or call 1-800-844-4888. That's 800-844-4888. Again, 800-844-4888. OmegaXL.com slash duck. It works for you. The picture I got to paint is the good part. Oh, good. You're I, an artist. I, yeah. Well, yeah, go ahead yeah. and paint it. Well, you know, my granddaddy was a sergeant in Vietnam. Uh oh. That's true. Well, and he used to, he used to. Is he still alive? No, he's not. But he, uh, he, uh, whenever my dad would wash his car after he got back from Vietnam, he would take a white glove. And if there was any dirt anywhere, they had to redo it and they'd get whooped. Mm hmm. Ew. 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 Well, you better you better stick a, you there's better some, keep that white glove yeah. away from my truck because it there's ain't gonna be white yeah, no more yeah. there's yeah. some oh, tough people look. from back then they still yeah. are tough that's why they still with us anyway. but wow. si, okay. you you alluded to a good story of sound like you in basic right. training i need to know what here, where we at? here you go all right first uh first two weeks we had one drill sergeant all right he's a pretty cool guy you know he's built like me okay not a, you know so, a wormy fella, so yeah, to speak. Yeah. yeah. So Jacked. hey, he uh he had trouble at home with his wife. She was pregnant. And they was having trouble. You know, the child was. 
and mom was. So he had to take care of business. So he leaves. We're waiting for the new drill sergeant to show up, okay? I think it's Saturday. May have been Sunday. But we see a taxi coming down toward the barracks that we're in on Fort uh, uh, Benning, <clears throat> Georgia. And uh, one side of it, the taxi is like this. <laughs> Folks, for okay. those of you look, that can't to one see, side. No, no, he's, got yeah. a, he's got a very significant cant to one side. Oh of yeah, that taxi. and look, it's no, 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 it, it's a severe, a no, no, it's a severe cant that a hey, there is sparks flying off of the bottom of the car, dragging the ground. It looked like he's got a grind, a big grinder going. <laughs> okay, and we're watching. So there, there's a little saying, feller in there. No, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm saying. What in the world's wrong with that taxi? <laughs> yeah, that gun yeah. shocks done went well, out. Or un- yeah, well, unfortunately, it pulls up right there next to our our building, <laughs> and it takes the, him about five minutes to get out of it. Uh-oh. Okay, and he's in uniform. Okay, and he's got a Smokey the Bear hat on. Okay, and you start looking for. Oh food. no no no! Look, I can take a bath in his Smokey the Bear hat. <laughs> Okay, this guy is 6'6", 475 pounds. Golly. Okay, and look, there ain't no fat there, okay? He's a mountain of a man. Oh, no, no, he is a man, trust me, mm-hmm. okay? So look, that was uh, week two, okay? So we got, uh, what, four more weeks with this new guy, Okay. You got to understand something. On Fort Benning, Georgia, it's an airborne post. There is no walking. You run everywhere you go. Well, I weighed 130 back then, okay? Soaking wet with clothes on, okay? <laughs> this guy is about 475, okay? So he's running. Well, hey, my hat is off to this, you know, giant of a man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and look behind his back. Oh, okay, we call him Big Oaf. Big Oaf. Oh yeah, you wouldn't dare say it to his face. <laughs> but anyway, behind his back, we're whispering. Man, I wonder what Big Oaf's gonna do to us today. So anyway, <laughs> it's graduation time. I'm in dress greens. He had a bad habit. He liked me or something, or I just one of them deals. Anyway, he was always in my face. Okay, and I mean nose to nose. He would put his nose on mine. <laughs> Drill sergeants, the only thing they'd call you was maggots. <laughs> you know? so, and a few so other children. He got in my face. So Big he, Oaf versus the Oh, maggot. yeah, Big Oaf got in my <laughs> face. I got dressed greens on, and he said something. And I'm like, J.D., right, stupid. I, I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the first two words out of his mouth, drop, yo, maggot. That means you think do some push up about fifty of them. So hey, I was in good, great shape. Okay, we've been you know for eight weeks running. So hey, I'm in great shape. So I knocked that fifty and jumped back up. Well, here he comes. He's nose to nose again. He says something else. I bust a lot laughing. <laughs> it took me. I ain't too bright. <laughs> it took me three hundred and fifty push ups <laughs> before I learned when you get back up. No matter what Big O does, do not start laughing or grinning, you idiot, because you're going to be here all day. Seven, Big o. seven times on graduation day, you had to just drop down and give him 50. Oh, no. 50. Hey, yeah. God. No, no. And I, cause what I first told him was when he told me to drop, I said, Sarge, I'm in dress greens. You know, I'm not going to. He said, you're not going to what? He said, you better get down, yeah. Maggot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess I'm getting down then, sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm down. Okay. Okay. Hey, don't wrinkle that you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Then tell me, hey, yeah, you you look terrible, son. Yo. So do we want to add that to your list of things not to do that you're telling everybody? Oh, don't no, if don't you're, laugh yeah. in the drill sergeant's yeah, face. don't laugh in a drill sergeant's face. <laughs> Especially when that's one of them. Big that's o. one of them, hey, this is something you do not do. Hey, Big Oaf, if you're still with us, I'd love <laughs> yeah. to have you on this podcast. Do you know podcast. Big Oaf's name? <laughs> no, but I can guarantee hey, you Oliver. Big Oliver. Sergeant Oliver. Sergeant Oliver. Do you know his first name? Huh? No. I but, will search. No. Well, hey, I will hey. spend the next week of my life. That was in what? Uh, when did I go in? 1967, 68? No. 
67, I think. 67. That's when I was dra- drafted. Oh, um, the yeah. funny thing is, is I would guarantee you that Big Oaf is a lot like your parents. Y'all thought y'all were calling him Big Oaf, and he didn't know, but he knew. Oh, oh he, he knew. knew it. Yeah, he so, knew. Yeah. And liked it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, yeah. and just because he woke up in the morning, and I guarantee you, he said to himself, What is Big Oaf going to do to them today? <laughs> <laughs> That's no, exactly no. what he, he said. Oh, no, he probably did. He probably did. Because uh, he probably heard me say it, and that's the reason he always chose me to do something with. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, oh, that's that's good. But, uh, hey, I had nothing but respect for that man, okay? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, how could hey, you not? He's carrying 475 pounds, okay, and we run everywhere we went. And trust me, we run long distances. Well, let me just tell you one thing, too. I got nothing but respect for all you boys that served right. and are still serving. Amen because that. that still goes on to this day. Oh, yeah. Y'all the toughest yep. y'all the mm. toughest humans on this planet as far as I'm concerned. So let's take one more break and we'll 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 shut this thing down. We'll take some emails and uh and we'll hit it with a Bible verse. We'll be back right after this. I would think that the correct term for what Scoremaster has going on would be a mathematician. But look, if you want to call yourself a credit scientist, that's fine. Because you know why? Because they know what they're doing. They know everything that's that they're exactly doing. right they know how to help you repair credit and get you lower interest rates look most of us think that above 700 is a good score and below 700 is bad but that's not necessarily the case look right now it is national credit awareness month and score master the new science and credit scores is inviting listeners regardless of your credit score to experience how quickly and easily you can add plus points that you need to your credit score how many points the average user adds 60, add 61 in their first 20 days or less. Look, we've had listeners call in and say that they've added as much as 135. So it's pretty cool. It helped them, saves hundreds of thousand dollars uh, when buying a home, saves you tens of thousands of dollars when you're buying a car. Scoremaster puts you in control of your credit and finances. It's National Credit Awareness Month. Sign up in one minute and see how many plus points you can add with Scoremaster. You control your credit score. Visit scoremaster.com slash duck. That's scoremaster.com slash duck and see how many points you can add. It's a discount. Uh, All right, we're back. And for probably one of the more enjoyable parts of the podcast, we're going to go. To the inbox of the emails. For all of y'all that have sent us emails at hello at duckcallroom.com. That's hello at duckcallroom.com. Keep sending them in. Uh, we enjoy reading them. We try to read as many as we can. We're, we are human. We don't get to all of them, but we do read a good many We're of them. We're fixing so, to read some right now. So, Johnny D., what you got for us? Hopefully a good question for God. I, I yeah. need... Uh-oh. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I just got a new one from... Becca, who sent all the stuff last time, she really? oh, she just nice. emailed us again, making sure she she's from the great state of West Virginia, and she also the oh the Bloody Mary mix is in the uh, refrigerator. refrigerator for you. Yeah, oh. and she saw it on my Instagram. Wow. So Becca, awesome. we appreciate that. Yeah, sure Kelly Woo. also Kelly was the one who said we didn't get to thank Kelly, Kelly. properly. Oh, okay. Kelly sent. The 72 cans the flats. Oh, okay. the flats of, of yeah. Mr. and Mrs. T's to you. And I said, I responded. I said, Kelly, thanks so much. Pretty sure Cy si drank all of them already. Right. And I'm working on it. she said, well, let Cy si know like that's okay, but that maybe half a case a week might be a little see, too much. Cy si, si gets, <laughs> so, si gets all these cool presents. Oh, and, yeah. And, and I get uh, an old boy sent me one on Instagram. He sent me a fake spider. It's a fake fishing bait. spider. Fishing now, it's bait. awesome. But it, it's a spider, so I got a plan for that. We'll we'll bring him back because I'm gonna put him various places around my house and watch my wife scream. I'm okay. gonna video because oh, because she hates a spider. So, so if anybody wants to send them Z-Man jackhammers to me and God, well, that'll be much appreciated. Oh, yeah. They're only seventeen dollars a pop. So yeah. no, I'm kidding. That's just a joke. Unless you're listening to this Z-Man, that'd be awesome. No, yeah. Nice. All again, right. I kid. Next question. Mainly, we got a lot of questions for Cy today. I'm gonna try oh, to roll okay. through a couple. Let's go, Cy. So Dina has a nine-year-old son named Levi, and she, Levi wants to know if Sweet Pea, the cat, is a lot like Garfield, and how much does he weigh? Well, no, he's worse than Garfield. <clears throat> Look, if he was a human being, <clears throat> he would have every doctor there is. 
<laughs> okay, because the boy is schizophrenic. He's, <laughs> you know, he's got more issues <clears throat> than a, any human I know. Oh, that's okay, and he weighs about. He did. He was up to forty. Okay, and and my wife took him to the vet for a checkup, and the first thing they did is they put him on a diet. So, so he's at a, he's at about twenty five now. Hey, he he was so big Your when he was cat at forty. Lost Fifteen pounds. No, no. Hey, look. And it's still a giant. No, yeah. no. Look, I had to push him. Okay, to put him in the, in his cat carrying case. <laughs> I had to push in in on the on the sides of him to actually get him through the door. And <laughs> put a little butter on him too. <laughs> oh no, 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 I'm serious. I had to mash him in, you know. So look, I, my question for you did I think everybody's gotta know. Did he have to come out in reverse? <laughs> oh no, no, no. He fine. He, yeah, he was able yeah. to turn around oh, no. the end the same way hey, he come out. No, no. He had, <laughs> uh, hey, he may have come out just the same way as he went in. I had I had to actually back him in there. Oh. Okay, I was, hey, I was lucky he didn't bite me because I had to push pretty hard on the side of his, you know. <laughs> you got to get a new cat, man. To get him in. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's got him on a diet. Uh, he's on a diet. All uh -huh. right, next question is from Leo. And I, I do have to say, every every time like you don't see somebody from the show doesn't mean that they've, they've passed away. Yeah. Right? Like, just Correct. because we haven't seen Mountain Man in a minute oh, yeah. oh, man, doesn't yeah. mean he's dead. So they ask, is Mountain Man still alive? Oh, yeah. And we get all sorts of emails asking for Mountain Man to come on our show. Mountain Man's got his own show. Yeah, right. Mountain Man's got yeah. his own radio show. Yeah. And look, we try to keep this thing less than an hour. And if we bring Mountain Man in, <laughs> right. yeah. we're, we're here for... It's going to have to be a three-part series because it's going to be at least say, three hours. Yeah. So <laughs> What were you going to say, Sai? Uh, hey, Mountain Man is like a, a tube of toothpaste <laughs> that you're down to the last little bit in there. And you take your toothbrush, the other end of it. And you squeeze it up at the top. When Mountain Man's talk, I want to grab him by the throat and force <laughs> words out of him. Okay? Well, just ain't coming quick hey, enough. Yeah. Because, hey, me and Philip was at church, and we was in Philip's car, and, and Alicia was in there with us. Mountain Man walks up, and he's got, uh, I think, some teal in his hand that Jace gave him, yo. Know? Mm, blue Mountain wind. Man said, Mountain Man walks, hey, man, look what Jace gave me, yo. Know? And... <clears throat> Philip, Mountain Man said it that fast? No, he ain't said it. No, no, he ain't said it fast. But anyway, he's telling Philip about it, okay? Philip just rolls the window up and drives off. <laughs> well, about that time, Alicia slaps Philip and me, you're so rude. And he says, hey, girl, listen, I ain't got time to listen to it. It'd take him another hour to tell us what just about them two ducks he's got in his hand. 100%. Yeah. No, he's I, a I slow agree. talker, but we love Mountain Man. But, oh, love him to death. Right, that's Good where as he's gold. At. Good as gold. You're wondering but, about where is Mountain Man? Good as gold. He's but, alive and well, folks. He's but alive. but brevity <laughs> is not his strong suit. Brevity yeah, so. is not it. Yeah. All right, and then Nathan sent like a question for every single one of us. All right. And uh, I really got to hammer on this one. Si, it's been documented that you didn't wear clothes as a kid. Well, Even, right, look, is that uh, true? Look, according to I Phil, have not seen no, these no, documents. Look, look. According to Phil, I didn't put on clothes till I was 14. What? Yeah. Which well, coincides with yeah. the last whooping he got from that electrical cord. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but that's a little overstated. Look, when I was young. The question okay. is why and also. Because I'm uh -uh. a free spirit. He's a free spirit. But you know what okay. he found? You know what he found at age 14? Tommy John. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Pajama shorts. Tommy John. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yeah. So you finally did put clothes on. Well, I had well, to. Yeah, hey, that's true. The society, well, I had to when you society, started. Yeah, society forced but me to put clothes on. But you legitimately just didn't wear a lot of clothes. Well, I, I, I was a free spirit, I told yeah. you. you know? Did you wear underwear? So uh, I failed the tryouts for Naked and Afraid. That's right. I mean, oh, he hey, wanted I, to go be on. I tried it out for it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Day one. <laughs> Canceled. He's out. Uh, Nathan also asked Godwin, you've been in rodeos, races, what trophy are you most proud of? Trophy. Tro did you win any bull riding trophies, racing trophies? Yeah, I won a rodeo. What's your I've favorite trophy you've ever won? From, won from anything. He won, a big, he won a big trophy at a crappy tournament, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah fishing. Yeah. You've won a few things in your day. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite win? 
He likes them all. My huh? woman's my favorite. Oh, hey, there it is. Good answer. Hey, my he's man. A, hey, my he's man. a jack of all <laughs> trades, boys. And I would argue. He is a trophy. Have you looked at hey, it? And I would you. argue that you're her greatest trophy. Hey, look. Well, I hope so. You're a fine figure of a man. <laughs> hey, yes. old Goblin's like That's that old. Hey, <laughs> look at I was Goblin's like that old Airedale dog. He ain't near as dumb as he looks. He ain't looks. near as dumb as he looks, boys. Hey, that was a good thing about hey, that. I got hey, a my woman's my best deal. Right yeah, there. guarantee. All what right. you got? Here I come. Martin, come. what's yeah. the biggest fish you've – oh, no, 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 not fish, bass. Biggest bass I've ever, ever caught? caught? Like 11.12. Where? That's a good In a one. pond off of uh, Harrell Road. Yeah. On a, a tiny th- torpedo. In a oh, pond hey. off Harrell wow. Road? That yeah. is one of my favorite ba- – what color? What color? Baby, color? baby bass. The one with a white belly that's got green on his side and little black stripes. Sure enough. Biggin'. And when he ate that thing, he's 11 pounds. You'd think, golly, what a blow-up. No, he come up behind it. What? Yes. Blue? Oh, no. And mm. I said. Yeah. I seen. I seen. And that. I got there about right there. I didn't yeah. get here. I got about right there. I said, uh-oh. Yeah. And then I got that thing. I mean, if you don't know what a tiny torpedo is, it's about, what, maybe two inches long. Ain't Maybe. Very long. Maybe. Yeah. With like, I don't think it's with that. like number eight, four, eight and a half. With like number four treble hooks, yeah. little small yeah. treble hooks. Yeah. I don't know. You, were, it was just a good lord. I wasn't supposed to catch that fish. Like, well, I mean, what? You, buy, like? you must have bought that at the honey hole. Shameless hey, plug. No, no. Oh. The best, <laughs> the best plug. color, okay, is the sun perch. Uh, what's the word? I'm fire for? tiger. Electric chicken. Is that the one you're looking for? The what? green and the orange and. Well, like orange, yeah, 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 red. Yeah, it's that fire tiger. Never what? That what's one. your question? Ah, oh, boy, here we go. Um, all these other guys paid their dues. This is, oh. this one's going to get hot and heavy quick. They're going to be mad at me. What dues have you paid? None. He ain't paid nothing. Uh, not here's nothing. the deal. He ain't. Paid I not came nothing. around at a little bit different of a time. Yeah, we weren't all down at Phil and K's. Yeah, shut up. Times were nice. We don't even want to hear about it. Martin, but well, so he's a child of different times. I don't even folk. want you to tell this story because I right. don't want to get mad so at you. Martin's okay. about to be mad. So the, the goblin is too. I worked in the store for a long time. Those are the dues I paid. Yeah, he's a clerk. Good job. Yeah. Okay, so everybody's thing, yeah. everybody's initiation once you were kind of in at Duck Commander was we got a shot show every year. And your first year, you were the guy that had to drive, right? Mm-hmm. Low man on the totem pole. Here's the deal, J.D. Yeah. Hey. Low man on the totem pole. You're, the assistant, yeah. you're assistant to the boss. Hey, right? look, don't defend him. Hold on. How'd we you, hey. No, time out. Time out. Hey, so I got did, to defend did, the man. But hold on. He's assistant to the boss. To the boss. How did you get to shot show? How did you? Uh, my first one? How did I Where get did to you shot drive my, my first truck, my first shot show, I jumped in a box truck <laughs> with a bench seat. In Duck Commander's parking lot here at 117 Kings Lane. Westmore, Louisiana. Mm. And I got in there with a buddy, Jordan Summit. Everybody knows him. Little Frodo, whatever Jay you want Summit, to call him. He drove. So, you know, that ain't going to be too bad, right? As we're going to leave, Willie throws some generic extra in with us who called himself Spikes. Three men <laughs> yeah. driving shoulder to shoulder from here to Las Vegas in a box truck. That's so, that was my first shot. Now, box, tell, now tell me so how you Nathan, got there. So that's yeah. how Martin, you get in there. In a box truck. In a box, box yes. truck. A, so a I a moving truck. Then it's just got a bench seat yeah, in the front and a all, big box on the dog. back. Okay. Both in it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I went to shot show my first year, and that's the whole story. Yeah. How'd you get there? Uh, so I had to fly with Willie. Did you? What? Where'd you fly in the plane? By the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the front bathroom. Yeah. Oh, okay. First class. I think it was three B or something like that. How'd you? How'd you get home? How'd you, how'd you come back? Did you fly in that same airplane? Uh, yeah, it was a plane. Yeah. It was a plane. Just yeah. me and Willie were on it. Yeah. Yeah, so, you, you drove out to an FBO, jumped on a plane, and so, said, I'll see you. So, Nathan, yeah. my dues were a little different. I came, I'm, I'm the luckiest I appreciate you bringing up yeah. old old wounds there, Nathan, because now I'm mad at him all over again. Uh, you look. Better, you better have a good verse, because now I'm Some mad. people yeah. skip I'll the dues. And yeah. Don't go to have, sleep. Do not <laughs> seek the I, treasure. I have a good first for us to make Martin cool out. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna. <laughs> so yeah, my dues were different. Uh, yeah. For sure, for sure. And, you ain't paid your dues, dummy. <laughs> okay, I, so I went, so I went from defending you no, to throwing no, you under no, the bus. No. I'm the luckiest man alive right. besides hey, Willie's, and I'm fine with God it. Can. All right, so I got a whole chapter today, but we're only gonna oh. read a couple verses out of it. Psalms 127, unless the Lord builds the house, the builder labors in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guard stands watch in vain. Skip down a little ways. Children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from him. 
this whole chapter is kind of about, you know, what we talked about, kids. Building it on the Lord. Building it yeah. on the Lord. Yeah. Uh, your children are a heritage from the Lord, so raise them uh, up and, and build your house on the Lord, and you will be blessed. And they There's will not, many verses about yeah, that. I'm and going they with, will not depart from him. That's hey, another one. But yeah. Psalms yeah. 127, go check it out, read yeah. it. Uh, you will be blessed, and bless all of you parents out there just fighting through it. We can't wait to see you uh, Tuesday. Yeah, we'll be twice back next, next week. Yep. See y'all. We'll see y'all again next Tuesday, boys. We go. We go.